Um, mom's labor seems to be stalled, or if we suspect malposition, such as an occiput posterior presentation, you may want to consider trying a series of positions known as the mild circuit. Uh, there's three positions in this circuit, and the first one is um, open knee chest. Emily's going to get in the bed and demonstrate this. Also commonly known as child's pose for those of um, you that uh, do some yoga. So you wanna stay in this position for 30 minutes and you can even start in like the hands and knees cat cow um, position and then just drop down as low as you can go on the bed or on the floor. And you want your bottom to be as high as you can. Your knees you can see fairly wide apart and the angle between the torso or the thighs um, should be wider than 90 degrees. You can wiggle around, put some pillows to make sure she's totally comfortable and relaxed because you'll stay in this position for 30 minutes. Some people call this the start over position because it allows the baby's head to scoot out of the pelvis a bit and it gives them room to be able to rotate or shift their head into a better position. Again, for 30 minutes, you wanna stay in this position. And then you can reposition her into an exaggerated sideline position. That would be step two. You can roll her onto her left side. Um, you can bring the top leg as high as possible and your bottom leg straight. Emily's really flexible, so she's gonna get that top leg nice and high. Um, you really want her to just kind of sink into the bed and relax. Um, and if she can probably sleep, that's even better. Um, again, we want to keep in this position also for half an hour. Um, and you can try to get your, your right leg um, up towards your head and it's rolled over onto your belly as, as much as possible. And once you're done with the 30 minutes here, then we're gonna get up and get moving if we can, or if you have an epiduralized patient, uh, then we can do lunges in the bed as well. So the lunge position is an asymmetrical position that really helps to create space on one side of the pelvis. If your patient has an epidural, it's obvious that she would need a lot of help getting into this position, but it's definitely possible. Um, and if she is um, able to get out of bed, then um, an another way that you can get into this position is by using the foot of the bed dropped as low as possible. I find in labor rooms, most of the chairs have wheels, and so the bed is a better way to create this lunge position. And you can see that Emily um, is doing what we call the Captain Morgan, right? She is a pirate today. She is not facing her knee like you would in, at the gym. Uh, instead, she's got her hips open and um, leaning, um, forward, leaning into her knee. One important point is to note that um, you never want to ex um, lunge your knee over your, um, over your toe. Uh, you don't want to close your pelvis in that way. Um, and then also, whatever you do on one side, you probably want to do on the other side. So most times we don't know which side space is needed.